Welcome to the Old Stream Farm, episode two, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Map. So, um, finish off the seeding. And then I'm thinking. He says thinking, because I don't know where I put it. Just there. I'm thinking of selling the bobcat. Skid steer. I don't need it because I've got front loaders. I can do bell spikes on front loaders and stuff like that. I, I really don't need it. So I'm probably going to sell that and get a bit of money in the coffers. I've also got, as was mentioned to me, if we go into the menu, we do have crops. Uh, not huge amounts and the prices are fluctuating, but I could sell my soybean, could sell my sunflowers. I'm going to keep some of the crops ready for when I do do the pigs. But I do have some crop, uh, which is quite good. So those I could probably sell. Um, so I've got a few bits and bobs I can do. Um, I am definitely going to get a larger cultivator. I do want to get a bigger seeder. So there's a few things I need to sort out. So jump back in here. Turn it on. Oh, I left it though, did I? There we go. And continue on with the seeding. I say this isn't going to take too long at all. Now, for all those of you that I had a few, quite a few people message and say they'd had the same kind of teething problems on the map, finding things and where things were and how you had to do things. I was also told that contracting the mission system on field five is a little bit sketchy. Apparently, it doesn't matter what you try and do on it, the time limit isn't right, so you can't actually finish the job in the time. Um, so I'm, I will probably do that off screen. I'm just curious, in all honesty, uh, to have a go and see. It's a bit weird, but um, yeah, apparently you don't get enough time. So uh, we'll have a look at that at some point. But I'll get this done. And that'll be the soybean in the ground. I'm probably going to get a Braidel... Um, solid fertilizer spreader because um, that's got quite a good wide reach on it. it's not mega expensive and um, I can then get some fertilizer on this because it's going to need a fertilizing at some point but I just want to get some seeds in the ground first and obviously still got the potatoes in the field I bought on field 9 Some of this, I think I'll just skip to the end because it's going to get boring. You just watch me going round and round in a square. It's not a huge field, it's not going to take me too long at all, but I'll uh, skip to the good bit. And that is that for field number one, which is great. Apart from the fact I want to just checked on there to check the soil state and all the rest of it, because I've set ploughing on. I didn't plough before I started, so it's not registering. And it says it needs ploughing. So I'm not going to get maximum yield out of that field. That will need ploughing on the next time, I think. But it hasn't used a huge amount of seed in all honesty. So I'll put this away. Hmm. Just got those two wheels in the back, I didn't really remember that. Right, so disconnect that. Is that right? Am I missing something? Just get that back up. Open this back out again. Oh, it just is detached, isn't it? I've just realised. I thought I was going insane. Oh, I'm not, am I? It's the. <laughs> I was trying to adjust the settings and um, that's so peculiar. Um, yeah, I was adjusting the settings, not in here, in the main settings before you actually come into game. What I was trying to do was reset the HUD on the left hand side down the bottom, this screen that comes up, um, to hopefully increase the size of that. So I increased the scale up to 150%. What that's managed to do is increase the head up display all around the screen. So the time at the top right with the amount of the money and the bottom 
is now massive, which is not what I wanted, because that's taken up most of the screen, which is absolutely terrible. Right, I'm going to have to adjust that. Right, jump out. Jump into the uh, JCB, and I'm going to take that down to the store to sell it, because I don't want it. I'm going to get a bail spike for the front loader. So I don't need this, and it's going to be worth a few quid, actually. So I'll take this and sell it. Everything just seems massive now all of a sudden. That's really peculiar. Right, I will go in and change the settings. And come back and we'll see how we get on, because that just looks ridiculous. Right, that's better. <laughs> Isn't it weird? You start doing something, you think something's wrong. You can't quite put your finger on what it is. Um, it was that. It looked just a bit too cartoony. I just went in and set it at 50% and it was so small you couldn't even read it in the corner of the screen. Uh, which one am I going? This way, because I need to head towards the store. That's the beauty of this map being relatively small. You haven't got to go a long, long way, especially in a vehicle like this that takes forever to get anywhere. Let's see what we get for it. Actually, while I'm here, have a quick look in case there's a nugget anywhere. There we go. That's it. Found 10 gold nuggets, so they've now appeared on the map. So if I want to, at any point, I could do a bit of a a nugget hunt. Let's have a quick look. Wow. Reminds me a little bit of Lawfolds, where they're all on that one gold hill. Uh, now, yeah, they're quite crammed into that space, aren't they? Anyway, that said, let's sell this off, shall we? Bale fork, big money. Eh, that's not too bad. So what I think I will do while I'm here is the wrong side. I need to go to fertilizer spreaders. Now, I might go for the Braydale, which is 28,000. For 24 metre width, that should be all right. So I've got some quite sort of mid, intermediate and small fields. I think the Cavernant will be too small, but I think the other one is just be absolutely ridiculously big. So I think that's probably the best option. The other option, of course, is the sprayers, which I could go down the route of doing. Uh, which I've done a few times in different maps, and that one's 24,000 with that works out at about 29.5, so... <coughs> excuse me. That's too big, and that's just ridiculously big for this map, I think. Hmm. Don't know what I want to go for now. Um, talking of a difference of, what, 1,500... That's 24. Yeah, I'm sure this one was only 15 though, wasn't it? Yeah, 15. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to get the braid out and buy that. So what I'll do is come back up with the tractor to collect that, fill it up, and then we'll be able to do some seeding. He says, where is it? Oh, all over there. Okay. Okie dokie, let's pick this up. And what I will do, make sure I get the wrong right way. Take it down to the garden centre, fill it up, and then we're good to go with this. Brilliant. Right, there are, oh, there you go, I was going to say, there are gold coins dotted all over the place. The gold coins, gold nuggets. So there have been a few picked up in various different places. Now they're on the map, you kind of it's rude not to, isn't it, really? I'll take this little track, because I don't know where this goes. I've been down here before, so... Might be interesting. Suspension's getting a bit of a workout. Oh, didn't really help at all, did it? Let's be honest. 
took me to this field and that's it. Is that a nugget there? Yep. Right, down to the store. Can't remember the way now. There we go. Right. Now I'm pretty sure seed is around the front, fertilizer is around the back. There we go. So. It's going to cost me a little bit, but not, well, hopefully not too much. The size of the fields, it should last a while, let's be honest. Wow, that's more than I thought it was going to be. What's that? 7,199. Good grief. <coughs> yeah, definitely going to need to sell some stuff and do some more contracting, right? I'm thinking I can cut through the biogas this way. Could come another well, could have come the other way, but it's um, no entry signs. I'm starting to wonder whether this weight is actually heavy enough. Does seem very skittery on the front. I am enjoying this map immensely. It's actually very pleasant driving around the town. I know it sounds ridiculous. It's quite calming, quite relaxing, just going for a drive. Oh, that was your thing. <coughs> I failed to mention on the first look, map tour. There's your slurry pit for the cows. So I think it all kind of pulls out when the cows do their business. Pulls out here and fills up the slurry pit here. How delightful. Actually what I could try, I don't know if it's going to let me do it because I've just seeded and it had fertiliser in the seed. It's run over this with this. I don't think it will allow me to do another one until it's changed state again. No, I don't think so. Quick look on the map.
No. Didn't think it would, but you never know. It's worth a try. So, part this up. Where shall I leave the seed? Oh, actually, the uh, fertilizer sticking next to the cedar. Excellent. Right, next job then. Do I do a contracting job to get the money up a little bit, or is there something else I need to buy that I could be working on? Let's have a look on the map. So, field four is cultivated. Field ten is. Actually, field ten is even smaller. Cultivate the deal, need ploughing though, don't they? Um, field 4 I could maybe seed that field 15 is an interesting shape could do that as well um, yes I'm just trying to think now what the best thing is to do I might do a bit of contracting actually I'm going to go up to field 7 and uh, oh it's not ready is it field 3 then field 3 won't take too long let's go to field 3 and get some contracts done that should just be at the end of the farm actually isn't it it's out this way. I think it's out this way, isn't it, Field 3? Right, let's go. There we go. Just at the end of the little track here. What have we got? What are they offering? 18 minutes. Right, I have to skip some of that, but 7,300, that's not too bad actually. That'll cover the cost of the fertiliser we'll just had to buy. Assuming, of course, I can do it in the time it gives me. That's an interesting place to put it. I do need to think about um, mowers and a baler as well. Right. Oh, it's an unfold it. That's a good idea. And turn it on. I'm hoping every contracting job doesn't end up with a massey. So what I should have done really is come back off it, gone back on, and see if it would swap. Because this is the second job now with the massey Ferguson. Now, someone did say to me uh, in the comments that they like the map, but they're not enjoying the fact that when they're doing jobs and contracts and the trees are so close to the side of the field. You could go around cutting them down, but it would take forever. But um, I quite like that. I think that's what kind of adds to the charm of the map. It makes you really think about how you're going to go about seeding and cultivating and... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Probably wheezy to say. I do like the fact as well that the, the textures that's leaving behind aren't, you know, aren't just your standard textures, there's some green in this as well on the ground, you can see that. It's brilliant. So this field, especially, is going to be one of those ones that if you do buy it, having the grass or meadow next to it, I'm assuming you can just, just plough it right across. Make it a lot bigger. We've got a little bit of wiggle room here and there. It could be that those are weeds in there as well. I don't know if you've got a hmm, the weed. I don't know. It's 
It's all just fascinating stuff, isn't it? New maps, new challenges, differences. Every single map that you do, that I've done so far anyway, comes with its own kind of unique challenges and things you've got to try and overcome and work out. And it's brilliant. Right, I shall continue. And catch me at the end. There we go. Nine and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, like I say, it's got this uh, got green mixed in with the, with the, the uh, what's left, the stalks and some light browns, dark browns. It's just changed the whole kind of look of the field. Quite impressive. What's the option for this? Seven minutes and 41 seconds. I will leave that. I'm trying to think of what to do next, actually, was to start seeding a field, carry on gold hunting, buy some animals. Oh, mowers. That's what I was going to look at. How much the mowers are. I need a front mower. Which I do need a trailer to go with it as well. I might have to lease one to get me going. Uh, I do want to get the Nova Cats so I can link them because that works really, really well. 11,000 for the front Nova Cat. That's not too bad. I shall purchase that we have a front mower excellent now the problem is loading wagons weren't cheap whether as i recall thirty-one thousand is the cheapest and that is a small one i've used that a lot how much is that to lease seven thousand four hundred well, i could lease one couldn't i the Laylee to lease twelve thousand and it's massive i don't really need one it's forty four thousand liters at the moment um i'm just thinking of getting some sheep on the go so everything else requires a bit more work to get everything ready, baling and that kind of thing. Balers aren't cheap either, are they? So one of the first maps I've done, actually, where you don't start with a baler. 58,000, whoa. Square ones are even more, aren't they? How much were they on the baler mod? 78,000, weren't they, for a square baler? for that those single axle one black sheet modding that might actually might, might be quite fitting actually considering the map is black sheet modding to do uh i might have to down download the uh, baler pack and put it on here or enable it i've got it but i just haven't downloaded it um yeah oh you know what i might as well just do this oh different one that doesn't play anywhere near as much and it's only six Yeah, gone. I'll do this one. Why not? Massey Ferguson. We'll grab the weight. Although it is putting the machinery in very peculiar places. Right by that hedge again. Oh, made a mess of that. So actually hooking this up is going to prove interesting. Right. It really is eating into your time. Okay, let's get this turned on, shall we? It's not too wide, this one, but it's uh, it's not bad. And that's the only thing as well I said before, when you're doing contracting, because the actual fill level doesn't go down, it's difficult to gauge if you buy one yourself how quickly it's going to get through the slurry and when it's only eighteen and a half thousand litres it can get through the slurry pretty quick so even on these small fields you'll be getting through a lot so uh yeah i don't know whether to get the slurry injector or just to go with the slurry tank like this but i do definitely want to do slurrying on this map which is going to mean getting the cows 
and the sheep. Getting the ball rolling on that. Yeah, you could extend this field right up there. Too busy chatting. So the other thing I've noticed as well, the time limits are incredibly tight. I know, like say, uh, I think it was Stefan that already said he'd tried on field five and had no joy, hadn't managed to do it under the time limit. But the time limits are a lot tighter than they are on some of the other maps. Doesn't like the hills. But to be fair, not much left to do anyway. I'm becoming incredibly uh, fond of, sounds a bit weird. <laughs> incredibly impressed with the Massey Fergusons. I've used them a few times now, do like them. I did even consider replacing the New Holland, which is only 125 horsepower, with the little drop nose, uh, is it the 5, five series? Uh, 5 series um, Massey Ferguson. So I did like that. I was cut be almost there, surely. There we go. There you go, it's over 3,000. Right, another job done. Excellent. Money is climbing back up again. I don't want to spend every episode just doing contracting jobs, though. There's not a lot I can do on my field. I can put some seed in another one. Might have to do that. Question is, which field? I think I might go with field 10, actually. <clears throat> it's quite a small one. Uh, it is already... Oh, I could plough it. It does need ploughing. If I go into soil composition and put ploughing on, because I've put... Because <coughs> I've got ploughing turned on, all of the fields need ploughing, which I missed with field one. I should have done that, really. And then seed straight in. So field 10 could do with it. Or I could lease a plough for the time being, couldn't I? Let's have a look at ploughs. There we are, it's up there. Jimper, the small jimper, how big's that? 3.6 metres, that is quite small, isn't it? 4.8 was the one I had before. They're not cheap, are they? I could lease one though, couldn't I? What horsepower do you need? 225, yep, that's not going to happen. 170, no, I haven't got that either. That's not going to work then, is it? Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, what do these ones require? The tiny Salford. 120 for the very master. That's too big. The coon it is then. I think I will lease that. 1,650. Yeah, because I do want to buy a jimper one at some point. But for doing this, I will lease a plough. Why not? I'm not back up to the store then, I think. Let's go and pick up a plough. Just a little bit bumpy. Actually, what I will do as well, I might as well take the cultivator up while I'm going up and sell it, because I was going to sell it anyway. So if I'm going up there, I might as well go up there and sell it while I'm at it. I do want to get a bigger one, so take it back. It's always the same on new maps. 
you get that slow start and then it starts to pick up you get a few fields you get a few jobs on the go especially when you start with animals then it kind of picks up pace and you get that snowball effect don't you it reaches a tipping point and then you're off so a little bit of a uh, bit of a slow start trying to kill anyone with that cultivator on the back I've got the mirror as well, haven't I? I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm looking, oh, no, I can't got the front weight on. I was like, I take them both back, but I can't, can I? Right, so into the store to sell. Nope, wrong one. It's this side, isn't it, for selling? Oh, dear me. What? Oh, it's just in the sell point. <laughs> so I'm not selling that. Good grief. Not yet, anyway. Let's try that again, shall we? That's better. 8,000, is that all? Good grief. Okay. What cultivator did I look at? I can't remember now. Cultivators. I think it was just the horse to run. I wasn't going mad. It's a four meter one as opposed to a three meter one. Then they start getting 4.8. That's a massive one, as I recall, though. And then we're onto the vocal newt, which I've had before, which is a six. The Vader stat. Oh, I'm getting that, couldn't I? It's 8.3, but it requires 330 horsepower. Yeah, that's not happening, is it? Let's be honest. But then if I invest in a plow, I could plow rather than cultivate. That was the other bit of advice I was given, awesome, uh, was that I was kind of always under the impression you had to plough and then cultivate because some of the cedars won't, you had to cultivate, but if you've ploughed, it registers that as cultivation and it will let you, uh, there you go, it will let you seed, so that's going to be the thing to try. So I know this field has been cultivated already, but to be fair, to get the maximum yield it needs to be ploughed as well so I'll go down to field 10 mine's gone blank what's the best way to go this way and down the hill I think so I don't miss the turning which is just here and field 10 should be mm -hmm. Do I have to miss the turning anyway for field 10? I have. I think I'll get to it around here, can't I? Or is it the top of the hill? <laughs> That's brilliant. Well done. Well done, genius. Or oh, actually, maybe through there. Is that a fence there? Nope. Good, good. I will find my way. Let's try in here, shall we? There we go. We got there in the end. Oh, nice. Telegraph pile of the pylon in the middle. Electricity pylon. That's wondrous. Right. So. I need to put this on for this, I think. So. There's no unfold plough for this, it's just drop it and go, I think. Yep, there we go. So, now this is an incredibly narrow plough, so let's be honest, it is going to take a while. This may be a fairly small field, but with a plough this size, it is going to take a little while.
But again, it's incredibly therapeutic. <laughs> it really won't take me long to do this field at all, I don't think. It would have been nice to have one of the jimpers. I'm going to have to seriously get some contracting work done um, to get enough money to get a better tractor. Probably big enough to... I would we'll probably get the small jimper. I'm not going to go mad. I might go uphill now, actually, I think. I know I'm going cross, and if anyone's, you know... The ploughing experts among you will be going mad. Just the furrows aren't lining up. Is he insane? Has he lost his mind? Quite possibly. I can also understand why people are a little bit kind of frustrated with how tight the fields are. Because for turning with equipment and stuff, when you're getting the first things in, it's incredibly hard to do. And your vision's quite blocked as well. But, once you've got a couple in, it's fine. Like that. A tree? Good God, something I'm trying to plough. So yeah, the furrows are going to end up all over the place, aren't they? really got a lot of choice need to kind of get a border on this field don't I anyway so I don't bore you completely I may skip ahead slightly for the ploughing just slightly and what I will do once I've got these couple of headlands in this way I will then carry on going up and down or side to side depends how you look at it because technically this is up and down it's not on the field but you know what I mean so that is it for this episode I'm going to continue ploughing this field um, and may finish it off in the next episode or I may finish it off off screen I haven't quite decided um, and then look at some more work, some more machinery, next field to seed. Uh, I might get the potato harvesting machinery, lease that and do the field next to me, field nine. I um, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Like I said, it's kind of that slow start and then it gradually builds up. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.